Greetings, this is Kijin, and today I want to talk about the game I have finished somewhat recently. Uh, it was a Spark of Divinity early age game, which I funnily enough started after the man game began, and I finished it quite uh, a while before the man game finished, which I'm still slowly uploading by the time this video is gonna go up. Uh, honestly, at first I have recorded this full series, but I have no idea what happened. My whole folder with the all the recorded episodes of the Mekon game uh, just disappeared. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I must have deleted it somehow by accident. Um, oh well, it happened. So instead, what I'm gonna do because it feels bad for the whole thing to go so well. Technically, it went to waste, right? But I'm just gonna record this thing now. Uh, I do have last turn, and I'm just gonna talk over it. Kind of similar how I did like a year or two ago with uh, like massive game for early age as well with spark of divinity and dominus and has actually but it was for lanka uh so yeah make on this time right i decided to pick demiurge because demiurge uh, had a pretty interesting thing added to him in uh, it's, it's a dog shit pretender let's let's be clear even in uh spark of Divinity, it's super bad but uh so let's see uh, by default from the start i have plus four dominion conflict that's pretty good uh Yes, spreads only like two temples, him, uh, that is. He has the Dominion Spreader, so he counts like extra um, Drain Lane plus two, which I, of course, gonna use because I really hate research. Priest get amount of conviction. Uh, and that literally means priests. So, unfortunately, blessed units, which I initially hoped for all marks. Yeah, they don't get it. Uh, I was kind of hoping. I could have uh, basically a free um, bottle of holy water on my pole marks to attack with them, but that didn't work out because it has to be priest. Uh, when Demiurge is that funny effect when yeah when I move on the throne and I spend turn there, uh, all Dominion gets kicked by one. That's it. The guy himself, I think he might have gotten an extra attack, or maybe this is magical. Normally it wasn't. I think there's some change to him. Uh, definitely some changes uh, in those effects compared to his Binary counterpart. Nothing much. It's still just awful pretender. Like uh, the best thing about size ten is pretty chunky HP. No item slots. Uh, the path he begins regular with, I actually don't quite remember. I think it's Earth and Glamour. Uh, something like that, maybe. <laughs> maybe a bit different. But anyways, I opted for something like this. Oh, um, because again, my plan was to use Polarmarks a lot. Being out of blessed, it didn't work out. But it still made him extra durable. My mages, uh, in general, extra durable. Uh, it you know something got on top of them mm, heroism uh, and of course reinvigoration same reason for tagging helping out mages heroism i don't know what the fuck i was thinking by giving it point of heroes it's completely wasted uh, i should have given it like point of night vision or point of yeah basically point of night vision is probably the best uh, point i could have spent it on a dominion uh it's pretty good you know i don't have sacred but again the idea is i'm crushing people with my dominion uh so i started with pretty high one uh mechon doesn't really need great scales uh at least the way i play it i play heavily relying on cyclopses on basically on the giganta i don't give a shit about pelta sometimes i make them but in general i don't give a crap and i just rely on getting cyclopses and uh big mage uh, support basically for uh, for hoplites as the game goes on so super combatants a lot of mages hoplites and summons of course eventually so yeah, I don't need great scales, but I want my luck uh, turmoil combo. Unfortunately, turmoil one is only one I can take because Mekon starts with extra order scale. That's not a bonus, that's a penalty in this case. Uh, I like to go heat with them because I have fire access. Um, so, you know, that makes fire metals better. Death, because death is you know, misfortune in my opinion in Dominion 6. You can really dump it down and it's not going to punish you nearly hard enough as misfortune 2 can do it to you now. Painful one, drained for good god, this made my research absolutely abysmal uh, up until a certain point. Mm. But there are of course ways to counteract it, so uh, that's my god. Let's get into the game. Alright, welcome back. Uh, this is how the last turn worked out. Uh, yeah, victory. Spoiler. I killed them all. So let's just take a look, uh, because it's been a while actually, uh, since I did it. Uh, oh yeah, this was the second time I cast a meter opposition of air. I was basically nuking uh, Beritovs, casting his air globals. He at one point had like three or four elf air globals, and I nuked them all with elemental position. And then I did it again. 
uh, so that was funny. Of course, there's a ton of freaking horror attacks. This here, for example, my King of Mountain got wrecked. Um, yeah, unpleasant, unpleasant times, that's for sure. The crypt is winning against Flood. That's how. Is it the gear crypti? Oh, this is what, yeah. I was using, <laughs> I had a ton of cryptos. So I was using them as actual assassins with spider amulet, a handful of acorns for the little bit of extra bodies. And then, of course, Golden Arbalest, uh, because that's basically the best, one of the best, in my opinion, assassin weapons you can have. Um, I also, on the more equipped ones, I had Boots of Quickness. I had, um, what was the weapon? Halberd of Might, so I get a little bit more extra strength for the uh, Arbalest, or, you know, if it gets to melee, shh, shh, double swing with uh, Halberd, hopefully will kill whatever is on top of me. And I think in the chest I had, um, I think that gave invisibility. Uh, I might take a look and try and find a couple of cryptos that had them. So, unfortunately, of course, you know, ranged sucks unless, you know, someone stands still, which in case of mages, which I was hoping does not works quite well. Uh, so that's a lot of horrors. Let's see. Abomination of Desolation. Uh, yeah, well. Obviously, this game finished because uh, of horrors eating from us, but I would have won it uh, anyways. Uh, I'm just gonna be clear about it right now. I would have won it anyways. So here was, okay, let's take a look. Here was one of the big fights uh, at the end. Um, here I moved on top of Catician uh, Throne, uh, which I would take next turn and claim it in two turns. So, of course, Catis, very cool nation, lots of death mages, death mages is pretty strong, but... I mean... <laughs> You know, the front line, uh, front line of 25 fire gem summons, uh, Kolkotaro's amazing uh, summon, tramples everything, fire breath, uh, a shit ton of uh, fully geared uh, Cyclopses. I love my Cyclopses, what can I say? Um, here, a couple more supportive ones with gate cleavers, uh, focus more on casting uh, buffing spells and other. Big uh, King of Earth. I, I had basically, I had all the royalty. I had all of the Earth, Fire, and Water royalty. Plus, I had uh, Bindfire uh, King as well, right? Uh, to differentiate him from the other Fire guys. And I had the um, the Blood Earth one as well. Uh, for, for the Earth Kings. Uh, I forgot his name. Uh, but I didn't get any air elementals, uh, air, air, air royalty I tried, but uh, Beritos had all of them summoned by the time I tried, so uh, that's that. Uh, Mount Fiends, you know, Fair Queen, but basically you're gonna see all sorts of buffs go up. This is like, again, completely super endgame, uh, hyper buffs going up. Um, yeah, four golems as well with various goals. Some are enslaving, some are putting other stuff up. Uh, uh, I don't think I even watched this fight, so <laughs> let's see how it's going. Yeah, relief, both on yeah on both sides, relief. But you know, as you can see, I've got what. Uh, I think this was Gaia's blessing, so I get all the resistances, mass regeneration, mist form, twist fight, of course. Um, I think I was trying to put my body here also. Uh, how from me to actually no how might be from my enemy yeah I didn't even care for it I've so oh, right and of course you know just so we see it again um, my Cyclops is just went into combat from the which to be fair is kind of risky uh, what I did because death mages are not a joke death mages can smoke your super combat and super easily with kind of death I might, I don't know if we'll see... Uh, drain life is also a thing that can happen. But no, they just slaughtered. So yeah, we lost two hoplites in this fight. With Kalkotaros is doing amazingly, of course, Archons too. Uh, so that was like this. Uh, wait, there was two fights? How, how did it happen? Oh no, it was a different location. Okay, so in different location, I also moved with something like that. Uh, right, I had literally hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of whites. I was summoning them with the uh, Conjuration 9 spell. Uh, so yeah, pretty fun. Oh, this was Firestorm variant, I see. Did I give them fire resistance? I sure did. 
some earthquakes too. Why not? Uh, transformed gnomes. Uh, transforming gnomes is very cool in luck. It basically lowers chance to zero that you're gonna fail. Uh, I, mm, I think it's zero. Maybe maybe it's a little bit percent, but I think it's zero chance in luck to, to fail transformation. Uh, so this was one of the best transformation. Basically, getting giant sorcerers is the best transformation you can get for your mage. It's fantastic. It's a size 9 chassis, which of course I make to size 10 with Crown of Titans, so he's even trampling and gets a shit ton of HP and blah blah blah. Um, so yeah, that was that. Uh, how did it... Uh, yeah, three whites lost. Again, a ton of stuff I just kill. Um, and here is one of the main armies that Beretto sent at me. I was gonna move on top of it next turn with my god. Uh, and absolutely crap on it. But it didn't happen. Uh, there are a lot of hurricanes. That's from the uh, Beretto's Global. Uh, let's see, anything else? Or that was interesting events wise. Not really. So, uh, right, the situation. So, Beretos is uh, was well moving on top of me, right? Uh, which he would have failed. Uh, here's my god. My god is Glamour 7. He has 300 HP and he's gonna be regenerating 30% per turn. So, he's gonna be regenerating 100 hit points per turn uh, with uh, me putting up regeneration on him in the fight. Mm, he's not gonna crush my magic resistance, he's really not gonna do anything, and I'm just gonna put up uh, Legion's Demise. I'm basically... Um, oh, well, I'm not immune, but I would put Shock Resistance on him with Earth, so I would be fine. Mm, yeah, he, he just wouldn't be able to cut through this uh, at all, uh, no matter how much shock spells would he uh, throw, throw at me. Uh, so that was the plan, right? Personal Regen, Shroudal Splendor, Legions of Icea, and also, of course, Massive Awe. Uh, with um, Shroudal Splendor, it actually goes to 8. Base damage has 3, 3 from my Bless, 8, so insane defensiveness in melee. Mm, I had, yeah, hundreds upon hundreds of whites. Uh, a lot of Fey Knights too, so yeah, I was ready to rumble, like, I... I I almost hope I didn't win this turn because, you know, a couple next turns have a couple cool fights. Uh, like here is where I took on the Ekatis and was about to, uh, you know, take the throne. Uh, unfortunately, again, a lot of assassinations happening by the horrors. So here one that succeeded. Yeah, actually, yeah, here one succeeded, the other one failed. That was Necromancer. Um, here I had King of Flames coming in. Mm. Here, you know, my main researchers were in home. Oh, let's take a look at Globos actually right now, really quickly. So, for literally almost all the game, I have controlled Mother Oak. Oh, sorry, no, Mother Oak was controlled by Atlantis, I think, but I, then I took it and held it for like next 38 turns or something. But I controlled Stellar Focus for most game and Earthblood Deepwell. Uh, I took Well of Misery after it was taken down by. Uh, actually, who, who was it? Hmm. Oh, Saramesha held it, but then they died, so I took it. Um, and there I had the uh, Gift of Health for most game, which, you know, Gift of Health in my 10 Dominion, 300 health of my, 600 health, oh my god, they're not going through. Uh, temple wise, I had 56 temples, and that's after I lost a couple, actually. Um, you know, <laughs> my, my pressure was gigantic, you know, as you can see, I was just crushing uh, everything around me. Uh, well, okay, it doesn't maybe seem like this this way, but the progress was going quickly right now. And I was planning to put up um, the Glamour Global, uh, which is called uh, yeah Dreams of Awakening God. I was planning to research it uh, next, uh, actually. Uh, probably I could have done it earlier, but it, it would have likely caused people to turn on me uh, earlier. Mm. Okay, okay, let's let's talk a little bit about how the game progressed for me. So. I had very good expansion, uh, good land. I actually uh, got up until here, basically. So in front of Lanka, then I also took thrones very early using my god. You know, fire shield with and uh, regen with regeneration and all. Unfortunately, all kind of doesn't work well with uh, fire shield. You know, it prevents fire shield from taking effect. But it was good enough to take. Uh, those are like either militia or maybe ivy man provinces so not, not really nothing difficult so i got right in front of lanka 
Um, yeah, here I just secured by a rear on me. I never had those provinces that were Atlantis came in. That was unfortunately a game with Atlantis. I was against having underwater nation at all in the game. Uh, and I kind of yielded in because guy was asking, host uh, agreed. I was grumbling about it, but we went with it. But again, this is this first and last time in Dominion 6, I'm having pure underwater nation. It's not fun. They have massive advantage uh, in general. Um, you know, you can really attack them, but they can attack you, sort of like that. Um, I'm going to talk about it in a second. So, um, yeah, I, my expansion went, went really well. I got right in front of Kailas and Lanka with my expansion. I don't know if they failed or what was going on. It was much slower for them. Alanka attacked Kailasa. And I was planning to attack either of them. So what actually happened is I allowed Lanka to kind of kill Kailasa. Uh, they didn't really have any problem. Kailasa had a really bad game, actually, now that I think of it. Uh, I believe Tower Mesha also took a couple provinces from them. They were screwed, like, from the get-go. Um, so when the Lanka was sieging Kailasa, I just moved on, uh, moved in, killed the staff that was sieging while also attacking Lanka from a couple directions. So yeah, I took Kailasa a couple, it took me a couple turns to siege down. I didn't have much uh, invested in there fighting Lanka. And Lanka had really, actually, can I see uh, what they had? Oh yeah, I can. So Kailasa, yeah, had, eh, bless. Very light, actually. Or they don't really have that impressive uh, uh, sacreds to utilize it. Lanka, on the other hand, had fucking dread and all. And this is cancer. Uh, again, there were no rules regarding that. Most of the games I play actually forbid taking fear effects of dread or fear because it's fucking stupid. Especially with all as well. That's just, the, you know, the way it works right now is dread or fear is gonna reduce morale. And it reduces so much that besides them, of course, breaking, they, they just fail on all checks, right? It's it's incredibly powerful combo. Not really like that even less expensive. Like, yeah, it's a lot of less points you get, have to invest in those two and get your path high enough to take O and Red, but it's absolutely doable. Lanka could have done that easily uh, and have an Awakened God, right? I'm pretty sure they had Awake God uh, with that Bless. And it was a nightmare to fight with. Like, my, my elite... Uh, hoplites within my dominion with two stars were breaking after two rounds of combat without taking any damage, right? Because fear is so fucking stupid in this game. Uh, again, I don't want to start remembering about fear again. I made an opinion in a couple of videos pretty clear about it. It's broken, still hasn't been fixed. Uh, most of the games I just played don't, don't allow it. Um, but yeah, it was painful, but I managed to get through mainly because my god just uh, was too strong after I... Uh, pushed my dominion on top of them. Um, and yeah, I just uh, he tried to break uh, the siege when I had my god on top of it. My god just killed uh, uh, most of his sacreds and you know stuff he had, and then I just siege it down. It was uh, oh, actually no, I didn't. I didn't siege it down. I I just don't kill him at that point. I really didn't want to fight inside of Lanka with him having some death mages, potentially skeleton spam. Uh, holding the gate forever with fear effect, like I could maybe send just God, but God probably, my God is not killing again, he might have gotten just stuck on summons and stuff like that, so yeah, dumb kill was it Kailas was already dead, taken by me Border looked like that basically, uh, this stuff was controlled by Sauromesha, that is uh, yeah that, well, yeah, that was Sauromesha so this is fine uh, these two were mine um, yeah after that, I had some time to settle down, get my forts up and whatnot. Uh, and then I invited Underground, actually. There was Exibalba here. Exibalba uh, was doing pretty damn well, I think, actually. Look at uh, look at the stuff he had. So, um, Xibalba's pretender was some bot. I don't, I don't know exactly what. Oh, actually, uh, uh, just, to, just to say, Lanka's uh, Spark of Divinity God was pounding free... Mm, Rakshasas, the unwe without the weapon ones, the one that have two slashes, right? Uh, Kailasa, I don't know uh, what their god was. I don't think I seen their god, so it probably was uh, in prison. I'm not sure actually. I, I don't remember. I don't think I seen it. Uh, Xibaba had a god that was spawning those sites, a nest of bats. So pretty. So 
look at that. I mean, Spark is, I love Spark. It's so crazy. So he gets a free size that give him Death Gem and a Blood Mage can enter summon one to two Beast Bats per turn. Beast Bats are sacred. I think I have uh, a couple because I, I got a um, couple cares, which are unique summons uh, for my cone, uh, special summons for my cone. Uh, turn them to commanders, they get blood buff when they're turned to command. I was using them just for fun, they were just fucking around. It's really not efficient, but uh, but for uh, Xibaba, uh, yeah, sacred venomous fangs. I mean, this is not great, but Xibaba was running very spicy bless, and I took some losses fighting them for sure. Uh, magic weapons, fire, blood search, righteous wrath. Righteous Wrath was insane, like, because they had so much garbage that was sacred. You know, other stuff mattered less, but uh, Blood Search uh, with Righteous Wrath mattered a lot. Uh, the garbage sacred, secrets dying were just buffing the shit out of his... Uh, I don't think I'm, we're gonna see here. But they have uh, sacred um, scorpions that have uh, armor-piercing attacks, right? Uh, that are untyped too. And yeah, they they chewed through a couple of my Cyclopses uh, that I foolishly um, sent into combat, but uh, I might actually... Oh yeah, this is that one. Uh, I did steal a couple. So yeah, Pincer, Pincer uh, with armor piercing. Uh, you can imagine a Righteous Fury on them, plus if they get a kill, Blood Surge. Nasty, nasty stuff. I did work around the... Um, it's a little bit uh, with time, but I made a couple mistakes by just trying purely... Well, okay, I was aware of it. I, I, it's not like I've just sent my super combatants to do with it and they just got slaughtered. Uh, I knew I need to avoid those scorpions, but uh, I think I made one or two mis... One mistakes where I got caught, basically, and another mistake was when I just didn't change the script, where instead of... I was often doing attack rear with flying cyclops, uh, and of course, that's a horrible idea in this circumstance. You know, they're just gonna get landed, just gonna land and get slaughtered by those scorpions. So I forgot to turn it off while taking Sibaba, and two of my Cyclops flew to their deaths uh, when they meant to just advance and cast uh, or whatever, stuff like that. But it worked out. Uh, the war took a little bit, but I took Sibaba. And then I started my march on Agartha. And Agartha. Uh, I'm not sure what he was doing. When I was moving on top of his capital, he tried to like get from here to here. I think he got to this point. And then he turned around. <laughs> By that time, I took his capital, took all of this province. And originally, the plan was to go on and take Agartha. But then I realized that this is throne is much closer. And the other throne is, uh, is here, right? So as you can see, I was about to uh, take two thrones, basically. Uh, oh, I didn't... I didn't crack that uh, far though. Oh no, I did crack it. It just doesn't show us cracked. I see. Um, so yeah, I was gonna take two fronts next turn. And again, win regardless of her actions. Even if they destroyed my uh, front, they actually destroyed one of essentially my front. There was a front here too that had absolute garbage uh, defense. I was gonna uh, teleport my god or maybe one Cyclops on top of here and take it without any issues. But the horror spawn here actually killed my prophet uh, Cyclops, not that I remember, that was supposed to take it. Uh, well, it happened, right? So, uh, the cards also affected me, right? By killing my fronts. Mm, the one front I really wish I had for the whole game was this one. This was from over three gnomes. Well, recruited gnomes instead of someone went. Uh, so that was that. Um, so yeah, South Romatia played kind of passively, just took a little bit of Lanka, took a little bit of Kailasa. Uh, Beritos played very well, they took Ermor. Um, they took some land of, I think, uh, Miklan? I think they took some land of Miklan, but then they crushed... Uh, well, okay, crushed is bad word. They killed Sour Mesha over time, but took, they took actually incredibly heavy losses while trying to storm uh, the first couple of times. Uh, Sauromatia's god, uh, let, let's take a look at Sauromatia's uh, blesses and Bertos' blesses. So Bertos had massive shock resistance and fire resistance, bless, some strength. Basically a bless to utilize sheds in massive numbers. Uh, but also his pretender was Zeus, and Zeus in Spark of Divinity automatically cast uh, Lightning Storm. 
so he was that's why he absolutely crushed everyone. Like you cannot really do much against uh, that sort of uh, power uh, early game. Uh, but hey, that's spark for you. You, you, know, you have to account for it. If you don't have like something that can chop down Zeus while not dying to uh, shock damage, that's what happened. And same story happened to Sauromesha in large, except of trying to take the um, fort. So not very impressive bless, but his god was uh, mother of monsters, I think. Uh, it, it's that like snake-like chick with dogs coming out of her belly, you know, it, kind of disgusting. Uh, but uh, that was one thing. And the other thing, he had something called Daughter of Typhoon, I think, which is like, was gigantic Hydra with massive regeneration uh, and ton of hit points. <laughs> and basically every time he tried to storm it, like what Veritas had inside died, except of his god and that uh, Super Hydra. Um, yeah, it was painful. Like Veritas bounced a couple of times. Uh, he eventually succeeded, I think, utilizing um, the uh, metal cards. So metal cards finally prevailed and cut through the um, that Hydra. Atlantis was stuck for in forever war with Yomi uh, at, until uh, Abisha got invested and looks like they decide to attack Atlantis. Uh, also, there was a Mictlan. Mictlan got kind of wrecked by a couple of people. Uh, I think both Tetis, Yomi, and Abisha attacked Mictlan. Yeah, Mictlan's here. So yeah, I think he got really... Oh, um, maybe he got by, uh, ganged only by Yomi and uh, Abisha. Uh, so that was that. Uh, it was nice because I really had initiative for the whole game. I said I never was attacked, I was the one attacking. Uh, I think everyone was kind of afraid of me. Mm, yeah, this huge boon that I had with research was when I got um, the Stellar Focus in my capital. I moved a lot of my mages here. Uh, you know, that kind of fixed my drain. I was at minus one drain only then. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, yeah, I had... Absolutely. I, I want you to remind you, I started with Death 2, right? So I, I was at Growth 2. That's thanks to taking Throne of Gaia. And I think there was another... Oh no, the another point of Growth is from Well of Misery. It's very cool that increases Growth. Yeah, plus 2. So from minus 2 to plus 2. I made a small mistake by casting... Uh, by casting... Not Well of Misery, Mother Oak. Yeah, I, I think I should have... Cast Mother Oak somewhere, because I, if I remember I, I, I overdid it with a growth on my capital. I think I technically was like a growth 6 or 7 for some reason. Well, I could have done it, for example, in this amazing province and have it grow massively too. Uh, but yeah, Mekon, uh, as you can see, it's already forest <laughs> at this time. Um, yeah, because of the high growth. Um, actually, let's take a look at a couple other blesses. Um, what were people doing? Uh, one of the, oh I know um, Atlantis had like a giant turtle pretender and it was had the effect that it was getting like a lot of gems and stuff when taking or claiming from something like this. Mm. Yeah, I don't oh, man, I don't quite, I don't think you even seen all of the pretenders, so I can't tell you. But uh, let's take a look at the blasts very quickly. So regeneration plus reinvigoration. So that was mainly for pillars, for the god, for the basalt kings. Uh, yeah, this is to play with Sheds and the Zeus casting st Lightning Storm. Um, Ketis defense. Oh yeah, Ketis was trying to do something cute with the Snake Charmers. Stack a lot of defense. <laughs> I mean, this is mad. <laughs> but I like it. Mm. Yeah, super spicy from Xibalba. Uh, yeah, Miklan, I never seen. <laughs> they got killed too quickly. Mm. Although technically first person to die was Kailasa with uh, Lanka, so taking both of them were my kills. Um, yeah, Agarfa, just Shocker as oh, 42, okay, okay. Uh, oh no, actually, I think Armor might have died first for just Combat Caster, I see. Um, yeah, so that was it, and I, there was a lot of fucking run by me. I probably could have won like 20 turns earlier, but um, I was just exploring research uh, using, you know, my massive advantage. I was summoning a crap ton of those. Like you can see, like I have so many, so many whites uh, coming from the 
Uh, Legion of Lights, amazing. I mean, if you get the spell and you have good death income, which I had amazing, 69 death income. Like, what the fuck? I'm play, I play McCon and I'm, my main income is death gems. Like, well, what's going on? Um, and yeah, Pyra, of course. Um, I, I did have, like, so I, I, was, I mentioned I had Gift of Health as well. I had, I think I lost one of the Cyclops that had other global. I had a couple more things. Uh, there were, in general, two more. Uh, yeah, I think Beritos held three or four, and I held the rest the globals. Um, but yeah, I was summoning uh, a lot of the uh, queens. I had the Corrupton of Fairy Knight. It's it's kind of sad because I didn't get to uh, use all of those stuff I summoned. You know, all of my. <laughs> Uh, Elemental Royalty was super geared as well, so Antrax was ready to rumble. Mm. Uh, and yeah, you know, a lot of geared Cyclopses, a lot of geared Cyclopses. Um, yeah, I think most of them were here, right, at that point. Uh, if I think it is. Uh, sorry, where are we? So, kick here couple, and yeah, most of them were here. So, I, I, f I found this to be quite effective kit. Uh, it can be exchanged horror helmet for size increase, so you know they regenerate more. Uh, Reinvigoration, of course, super important. Omni res, uh, luck with more shock res because again this was considering fighting Beritos who had a ton of shock damage, so that's that's nice. Uh, Akona necklace, super good amulet that I could have made either of gnomes or actually I had a little party culturalist here which I had a crap done. I guess sometimes getting the earth uh, random as well. Later on, they just became uh, holders for items that would horror mark them. Uh, but a couple of water ones also help me, uh, you know, do some, some water side searching. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> that's a fun game. I really wish I could have recorded it all. There were a lot of really cool fights uh, and cool plays, uh, both by me and other players. Some players were really doing some fun stuff, but well. Sadly, I don't know what I did, and uh, that it got lost. Uh, but yeah, I hope we found it somewhat interesting, uh, this general overview of the game. Um, I really need to make sure that next time I will not mess up and just lose all my... And you know, worst part is I recorded all of it. I, you know, I spent a ton of fucking time recording in Fuse Batman. I'm pretty time strained already, so this is my life, and then when I try to just do some Dominion uploading for fun, it just gets fucking nuked by my stupidity, I guess, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's that. Thanks so much for watching, thank you so much for watching, stay proper, and I'll talk to you next time, bye bye.